Welcome to Ecuador, guys. Hi, everyone. I'm Oscar. And I'm Dan. And today we're taking you with us as we explore the vegan scene in Quito, Ecuador. We've traveled to 68 countries so far, most of which we visited after turning vegan four years ago. At the end of the video, we'll show you what it's like doing a vegan cooking class in Ecuador. Let's get right into it. Señor, con Augusto. We arrived super late in Quito and had to grab something quick to eat before restaurants closed for the night. We saw in Happy Cow that there was a pizzeria with vegan options close to our Airbnb, so we hopped in a taxi and got some late night takeaway pizza. Pizza. The next day, we slept in because it was a late night. The closest place to our Airbnb on Happy Cow was a vegetarian health food restaurant where all the dishes could be veganized. Wow, this looks so good. Whoa. Did that have a I think so. Whoa. Let's eat. We then took a few hours to explore Quito's old town. If you want to see more of our adventures in Quito, you can check out our first video from there after you finish this one. Okay, some potato soup. It's not potato soup. Yeah, it is. No? Rice and some other grain I have never heard of. Well, there's potato in it. <laughs> After a local lunch, we did some more exploring before doing one of our favorite activities while traveling. We just love walking around grocery stores in different countries. We've been here for an hour now. <laughs> walking around foreign supermarkets is awesome because it gives you a very good insight into what people generally enjoy cooking as well as which foreign cuisines are trending and which ones are less popular. Plus, it's always fun to see what the vegan offerings are like in different countries. It's seriously not often you find a vegan section like this in the supermarket. So, the country of chocolate. Yeah, we're going a bit crazy because we realized that all this chocolate is from Ecuador. So we're like, oh and my there's like god. There's tons of different, like, crazy flavors we've never heard of before. Yes. We try to always stay in Airbnbs with kitchens so we have more flexibility with our meals. That evening, we decided to cook one of our favorite dishes, our take on the Swedish take on burritos. Let's make that guac. Let's make those burritos. We just spent two weeks in Colombia without a kitchen, so it was nice to be able to cook something we know and love. The following morning, we met up with Chef Sebastian to start our Ecuadorian cooking class. We just made it to a local market and uh, we're going to see the endemical section with all the like, traditional Ecuadorian stuff. It was so interesting to see the dozens of kinds of potatoes, sweet potatoes, carrots and other veggies on display in the market. Oh, yeah. That's really white. Yellow sweet potato and this is the purple sweet potato. This is a white carrot. This is the white oh, carrot. Wow. And it's a little bit sweetest. Okay. okay. Have a lot of water and gum here. Whoa. Oh, Whoa. Man. And is it soft inside? Yes. And can you smell? It smells a bit like uh, beet. This is a tomato. Yeah. It's a free mm. tomato. And it's really, really acid. So we're going to buy one dollar of this for the cacao. <laughs> also interesting watching Sebastian interact with the vendors and we ran into some amazing characters on the way. Oh. 
Ya se la sopa en el mes de abril, 12 granos. Estos representan a los dos apóstoles que están papá Dios de arriba. Aquí tenemos la mitad del mundo. Somos 10 millonarios y grandes de corazón. Estamos dispuestos a servirles cuando vengan. Pero cuando yo me vaya allá, no me quiero ir a conocer allá. Entonces, mucho gusto. We then moved on to the kitchen site, where we got cracking straight away. We got to try several things, but the main dish was a traditional spicy potato soup, which we topped with toasted corn, our homemade white carrot chips, and grilled avocado. It was delish. We then got to sample a range of local fruits, some of which we'd never seen or heard of before. Some were great, and some were less great. Look inside. It looks like passion fruit. Whoa, it doesn't really taste like passion fruit. No. And it's a little bit sour, mm -hmm. but really frutal. Mm. Mm. <laughs> it's so sweet. The skin. Oh, look and at that. Side. Well, now, now it's not going to be as pretty. Wow, look. Oh, wow. So satisfying. It all just sticks together. Mm. I love the texture. It's mm -hmm. so satisfying. Yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> now that is very different. <laughs> <laughs> Over the following days, we did some serious hikes and didn't really focus too much on food. But here are two other meals we had while in Ecuador. Holy shit. I'm glad they have a piece of water. <laughs> Kiosco, we got some, we got some, some food. Filled aguacate. Uh, yeah. Patatas <laughs> picas. And some lentils. Mm -hmm. Just enjoying the French fry. Thanks so much for watching this short and unusual video. We're thinking we might start making some more vegan travel videos for those of you who are interested, so let us know if you like this video by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing. Can't wait to see you all in our next travel vlog. See you around the world. <laughs>